Hi and welcome back to the uh, MIDI drum. Um, what we did last time was to get the hi-hat to work and we didn't de-parent anything on that. And we've made the bass drum work and that's not de-parented either. The other items here that we've de-parented, we need to be a little bit careful. If we move the drum, we'll be leaving them behind. So just remember that. Now what I've done, I've moved the drum sticks out of the way. Because what I'd like to show you is um, at the moment there is a slight problem. So there's a drumstick here, it's pivoting in the center point of that uh, stick. So what we need to do is to move this pivot point. It's a bit tricky to do it, but using the tool settings, if you select the joint editor, you end up with the cursor part of it changing to these two points. And if you just gently pick it up, you can move it to its new location. Roughly about there. Now it doesn't do that straight away. So if you keep playing with it very gently there and move it across little bit by little bit, it will start to end up at the end of that point. So it's still a little bit out there, but it's not too bad. Just get in there. And we'll bring that down the other way. So now you can see that that pivot point is close to the end. The reason we want to do that is because we want to be able to, obviously you're holding the, the stick at this end. So now when we rotate that now, you can see that it's actually now pivoting from the bit where your hand's going to be, which is what you want. Now, if we go and have a look at the stick, you will still see the stick itself is also pivoting in the center. So we're going to move that one as well. Again, nice and gently, keep moving it along. There's a little what, well, a little center point in there that you want to try and keep hold of. So there we go. That's looking a bit closer each time. You just have to remember you're in a 3D world. And to keep moving it very slightly, as you can see, that's now getting closer and closer. Okay, so that's more or less where we want it. And now when we move this one, that will pivot itself from the end point. So that's how you get the drumstick to actually pivot in the right location. So in the next video, we'll have a look at see if we can get that animated so we can make it hit the snare drum. So thank you very much for looking and uh, we'll catch you in the next one.